Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So today I'm going to talk about this Graco Sense to Snooze Bassinet with Cry Detection. Just like any other Graco products, this one requires assembly. To assemble this bassinet is quite straightforward. The only part that you need to be mindful of is when you are setting up the bassinet. Bassinet has two wires underneath that need to be set up correctly in order for it to support the baby. So first you place the bassinet on the floor with the mattress facing down. Then you rotate the bassinet wire up and lift the bottom of the bassinet up to the wires. It is quite annoying to do it by one person, so if you have a second person that can help you, this will go a lot quicker and smoother. Once you pull the bottom up, you just need to snap the wires into the mounts on the bottom of the bassinet. So this is the only part that's a little bit complicated. Uh, you just need to be mindful of Make sure that you set up this correctly because you're gonna put your baby in there, right? So just spend a little bit of time and do it correctly. Some of the things that you need to be mindful of is stop using the product when the baby can roll over or push up on hands and knees or weights over 20 pounds or nine kilo, whichever comes first. And do not put any other pillows or comforter or extra paddings inside the bassinet to prevent the kids to suffocate. Only use the mattress that's provided by Graco. The canopy on top of the bassinet can be attached on either end of the bassinet. It's only depending on your preferred orientation. The way that you're gonna clean this bassinet is to wipe it with damp cloth for the mattress. You can wash the cover in cold water and air dry. So the only part that you can actually take it out to wash is the mattress cover. Everything else, you just need to wipe it down with a damp cloth. All right, so let's talk about how to use this machine. Here in the center, you have the on off button. You turn it on. I had a preset, so once I turn it on, this is already in the swing motion. As you can see here, the, all the lights are on. You can here, you can adjust the brightness of the LED screen. Now you can turn bright, you can dim. Now you only see the on off light and do it again and just dim down in terms of the brightness of the LED. Now I have to turn on the brightest so you can actually see all the lights illuminating. Okay, so on the bottom here, this is vibration. We turn this on, the machine is now vibrating. So not only it can do swing uh, from left to right, and, but it also can vibrate as well. Now there are two intensity of the vibration. One is high, one is low, and then you hit it again and it's off. Now on this side, the up and down arrow, it just means that you can adjust how hard or how high you want this to swim. So there's three levels that you can adjust. So it's quite easy to use this machine. Now on this side, uh, you, you can uh, change the tune. Now you have the music. There are 10 music where you can choose from. And there's the volume up and down. This, the center one is the white noise. And the bottom is the nature. There's also 10 different uh, nature sound in here as well. So for the music and the bottom one uh, has 10 different version but the white noise is only one type of white noise that you can have. Now, as far as for the center here, you have the star, which is the default gray code setting. So if you hit that, you will see the baby's face illuminating. Now what happens is when the machine is detecting baby is crying, then if you have the star uh, setting on, then it will cycle to the gray code default setting. Now come over here where you have the heart, now with the heart, you can do your own setting. Once you have done the preset, when the machine detect the baby crying, then it will start using your default setting instead of using the machine's default setting. Now the way that you're gonna set up your own setting is to first turn the machine on and select whichever one that you want it to do. You're gonna have the intensity at the highest and then with white noise and maybe with some uh, vibration as well. Now once this are uh, all the, you can also change the level of the volume as well. Once you have done all the settings that you want, then you press and hold the heart until the baby face has uh, blinked three times. And now you turn this on. 
when the baby is crying, then it will go into this mode, the mode that you just set. And this is how you set up the, your own setting for the bassinet. Alright, so let's talk about the likes and dislikes. Uh, for one thing, this bassinet is not that expensive compared to the ones I have tested out before. Uh, at the time of filming, this Graco bassinet is coming at just under $320. I will put all the product information down in the description below so you can go check it out. The second thing I like about it is it can detect babies crying. So once the baby starts crying, it can swing the bassinet and vibrate and also play music or white noise when it needed to to soothe the baby to sleep. It is extremely helpful during nighttime, especially for the newborns because they have to get fed every two to three hours and the time for the parents to get some rest is very limited. This will kind of help give the parents a little bit more time to rest. Now the things I don't like about this bassinet is the fact that just like any other Graco product is made out of mostly plastic, not only so, but they look very cheap. <laughs> so yeah, and also the fact that this bassinet require assembly. Now another downside with this bassinet is the fact that it cannot turn off by itself. Now granted, it does have an automatically shut down function after eight hours. Yeah, so it will take some time for it to just shut down by itself. And so you either have to manually shut it down or you have to do the setting at low setting so then your baby will not rely on the, this type of bassinet down the road as well. Because at some point you have to transition your baby out of this type of bassinet into the regular numb moving type of bassinet. Now if your baby is really used to the swing motion and vibration while they are sleeping, then transitioning can be really hard. For other smart bassinet we have tried out, they won't be on the whole time while the baby is sleeping. So at some point they will shut it down by themselves. But with this one, you cannot do that. So unless you're waking up in the middle of the night to turn this off, it will just continue rocking until uh, the eight hours mark is met. So yeah, that's something that you need to be mindful of. Yeah, so those are the things I like and dislike about this Graco Sense 2 Snooze. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.